Alright, this is going to be my game 4 review over Spenu and uh, Ever. Um, a little bit about these teams. Uh, Spenu is playing their new jungler, uh, Flo, who's been playing really well on these aggressive junglers like uh, Nidalee and Lee Sin. He does play one Rek'Sai game. He doesn't really do much that Rek'Sai game, but he's really well sorted on the strong jungler strong invade, invasive flashy jungler play so the first I'm only doing game four and I'm gonna change the format of how I do these games a little bit I'm not gonna go over through the game and discuss like each points I have a few timestamps on the side uh, that I saw that were important I'm not gonna do game one or th one two or three the games are just really long and it's more of Spenu and ever not really know how to closing how to close out a game um, and the way the team comps were, it was a lot of scaling from Spenu. They were running the Oriana vein two games in a row. And then um, Ever was doing the first game they played, they were running this Corky that they didn't, they were running Corky that they really didn't understand how to play. And then they were doing this double TP with the, with the, uh, Diana, with the Diana Fiora, the Diana someone else. And it just really wasn't working out for them. It wasn't as strong as it needed to be. They didn't understand how to split push well. And. So they're trying this again, but they're finally letting Spenu pick up the Lee Sin for Flaw. Uh, Lee, Flaw was not allowed to play this Lee Sin for three games. Ever kept first picking it from him, and it was and he, Nidalee, he was doing pretty well on Nidalee. I'm not saying his Nidalee play was bad. It was really good. It was it was pretty good, just as well as his Lee Sin. His Lee Sin's just a little more flashier because of how Lee Sin acts as a champion. His when he, he makes plays, they're a little bit more flashy. And you could see, you can actually physically see the carry from Lee Sin. So we're going to talk about pick and ban. Uh, Ever first picks this uh, uh, Nidalee away from Flaw finally because of how well he's been doing on it. They're like, ah, we'll take Nidalee away. Maybe he won't be able to do anything on Lee Sin, but P.S. he does. So now we get uh, Victor Lee Sin. Uh, Spenner's been playing. Spenner's been playing Orion a lot. I think they wanted to change it up with this. Uh, with this uh, Victor and the way Ever's been playing, they've been doing this double TP. To stop the double TP early, you kind of just keep shoving this Diana under lane, and it just it's just harder for Diana to really want to leave this lane and do a TP play to go and help another lane, or to even start split pushing because the wave clear from uh, the wave clear from Ever isn't too strong if they start getting sieged. So Spenner then picks up. Uh, Ever picks up Callista Cannon, so they're really in, they're really going for this heavy engage team comp. You got the Nidalee, you got the Cannon, and the Callista, pretty strong. So Spenu picks up Brom and Ash. Brom's been a really big pick this whole uh, this whole series again. Brom's been stepping up in the uh, the priority list because of uh, because of the buffs he's been getting, and he's been doing pretty well in lane. So they pick up Braum. It's just it just happens to fit well that they took Nidalee away. So it's gonna really stop these uh sh these spears from coming in. They pick the Ash as well, the Ash Braum lane just to deal with this Callista Cannon to match the engage with the engage. So a really strong pick for Spanu. Uh, I'm so that was their pick from Spanu. Little uh less damage focused. So they might need a, t a really strong top tank, a top uh, carry. So Ever goes with this uh, top lane strong Fiora pick again, and they go with the Diana mid again. Um, I really haven't been impressed by it. They just couldn't really. They still haven't been able to do the split push proper properly. So Ever is really looking for the strong lane matchup every lane. The only one that's really losing lane is Diana. She's going to get pushed down a bit, but once she hits six, she does have this all in potential. Um, another thing I want to comment so. From Spenu, I wanted to see like an Olaf or I wanted to see an Olaf. I wanted to see a Riven. I wanted to see some type of carry from this top lane. But they ended up going with Shen. I was really when I first saw this game, I was really concerned for Spenu. I'm like, this is gonna be a little interesting. I don't know how they're gonna be able to out damage the other team in team fights from all this damage that Ever's placing on the board. So Really concerned for Spenu at the beginning of this at the beginning of this game. So um, I want to just go over a little bit more. Uh, I want to go over my timestamps now, and really, oh, one more thing. I just want to talk about the summoners that everyone takes. It's a little awkward. All right. Oh, they skip it and they just show this thing. 
Okay, right here. So the summoners that are taken. Um, we got double exhaust from this team, which I don't really quite get. I think the double, I think an ignite and flesh is just fine. The ignite for Ken and the flesh for Fiora. Um, I don't really know who you're igniting on this. I mean, the issue with the ignite on this, uh, the double exhaust, is you just got a Victor and Ash to worry about. The Shen's not going to be that much of a physical threat. The Ash really isn't going to be that much of a physical threat until late game. And the Victor's really the only threat. So I think the double exhaust is a little weird. I think the flesh on Viora or the flesh on Viora would be more beneficial to take. And same with the Ignite on Kennen. Where on this team I can see Braum taking the exhaust and Victor taking the exhaust. So it's double exhaust. There's no Ignites in this game. A little different from professional play. So the first thing I want to go over is 940. I'm going to talk about a little rotational play in this one that I was pretty impressed with from ever. Okay, so let me see. 9, 920, 931. So Lee Sin gets pinged out on this ward. They know he's trying to transfer blue buff to, to Victor, and they kind of take advantage of this, and they start an early Drake. Well, a, a Drake, they get a Drake out of it. Really good rotational play from ever. Their rotational play has been okay. It hasn't been anything spectacular or to write home about, but this was an actual decent play. Impress, not too impressed, but very uh, more stand more of what they should be doing if they're trying to get into this champions uh, league. So the next time, uh, the next thing I want to comment since I have it up, is that Fiora is not going for the black cleaver. She's going straight into her Hydra. I don't know if that's the proper build, but I just don't think this Hydra is a really good choice for her. I, th I understand that she does want lifesteal, so I think just picking up the Vamp Scepter is fine and then going straight into Black Cleaver to deal with the amount of armor that's going to be on this Shen, just to keep this, just so she can keep split pushing. So the next timestamp I want to go at is at 15 minutes. And it is a contest over blue buff. Okay, right around here. So Nidalee's just trying to be annoying because they, they just uh, had a bad engaged bot side and Nidalee's just trying to stay and keep uh, this bot lane, keep tabs on Lee Sin. So a little trade from uh, the top side of Ever and uh, from uh, Fiora and Shen. So right now the contest for blue buff is in. Lee Sin lands this kick and gets a nice insect on to, to Nidalee and to the cannon and she, he just picks up the kill on Nidalee. Really good play by him. This is what I've been watching about Flo. His Nidalee was okay, but his Lee Sin just starts sticking out to me. And it really shows in this game how he really helps his mid laner get ahead and his uh, his mid lane and his bot lane get ahead. And really set everyone else behind. So the next timestamp I have is 1620. So let's take a look. They're doing a replay over that. I can't see yet. Alright, 1620 right here. Okay, I think I have it prepped for... I think I put it too early, but there's going to be a dive bot side. Yes, I prepped it too early. I meant 1720. Okay, right here. So they got a dive going bot lane. Lee Sin's coming down. They really want this bot side turret. Uh, they, Lee Sin's getting really far ahead. They take out this... Uh, Kennen picks up a kill on Braum, and then Ash picks up a kill on Callista, and Lee Sin picks up a kill on Kennen. So... The issue with this dive was, yeah, they do drop a death, but Kennen does pick it up, and they do get this turret, because they know Fiora's finally going to get this topside turret. So it's kind of it's kind of in favor of Ever but that they get the turret, but the uh, answer from Spenu is just greater. Uh, Spenu, needs, Spenu got this tower down, so now they're going to send their bot lane top, because Braum died. At this point, Esh really doesn't need to stay bot at this point. She needs to go top. Shen can go bot and defend the tower. Can, can, uh, Shen can go bot and defend this after X amount of t after uh, he recalls and Ash comes out. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now they're gonna rotate this. I think this is a good play from Spenu once again. They already have the gold. They already have a 1.4k gold advantage. Uh, the reason why Spenu uh, ever is trying is keeping up so well is because of the CS differential between Victor and Diana and uh, Callista and Ash and. 
that's how I'm seeing this gold differential and the tower right now and the shutdown gold. Uh, is there shutdown gold? No, there's not shutdown gold. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next uh, timestamp I have, which is 1850. Uh, this is me just commenting. This was what I was saying before: how they send the bot lane top to just take out this turret and keep their advantage ahead. Now that they got this top lane, they need to work on this mid lane turret. It's the only outer tier turret left. Victor has been trying to keep this giant shoved, so she can't really roam. He goes for the early. He goes for Morels, and he's just really shoving in this turret. So the next timestamp I have is 22:30. All right. So here come. Here starts the new. Here starts what I want to watch. Notice how nuclear is backing up. They really want this turret. They're not going to over engage for it. They just want this turret. And Ash is going to shoot an arrow right at Fiora. They get Fiora locked up, and they're trying. They just want the turret. They're not engaging on some. They're not looking for a dive. They just want the turret. Really good controlled play from Spenu, understanding what they want, and not being too greedy about this. And they're going to be able to pick up a Drake after this as well. So once again, Spenu really stepping up the rotations from this. Very impressive from this Lee Sin keeping everyone away. And Ever tr does try to answer this. They do shove uh, back the mid lane turret, trying to keep everything under control. So not too full, not too bad from Ever. So here comes the next part, the next timestamp that I want to go over. Uh, nothing really comes out of this uh, fight. They uh, assassin does get caught out a little bit, but nothing too extreme. So next timestamp I have is 26:28. Oh, too far. So right here, it's going to be popping up in, within the t next 20 seconds. So they're sieging mid lane turret again. This they really they're really answering the split push pretty well because they can't out they can't do anything against uh they're uh, the group of five really the group of four just outpowers this uh, group of three right here because of how far ahead this victor is and they're not really respecting this victor and they're not so they do land the tp they do t they diana and few are both tp in but their wards are so far back that it doesn't really affect this group of four so now that uh Kenan died they really don't have that much and they lose part of their engage and that Fiora just got Fiora takes too, so much time coming in, and the exhaust onto of uh, Diana it just doesn't really affect them that much, and she gets chunked. Now this is where I'm impressed. Watch this Lee Sin play. Once again, he 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 t lands the kick on the Fiora, ease onto this ward he placed, flashes behind Police, and kicks both kicks Police right in, knocking Athena and Crazy Play right into. Right into him. Really good play from uh, uh, Flaw on this Lee Sin. And they just get the exhaust, and now they'll be able to take the Baron. Once again, not over committing to anything. Let me watch. Yep, not over committing. Oh, whoa, too far back. Not over committing to this turret right here, waiting for the minion wave. They just want this Baron right here. They know four people are dead. They just want this Baron. So, uh, Spenu, I think, can be a threat next, uh, well, they're not going to be a super threat next split if the patch, if the patches don't change and there's no major changes to the meta. I don't think, um, Soul's this really good top laner if the meta is going to stay with this top lane carry. Um, I don't... I don't. Maybe if the control ma if the control mage stays, it's still gonna have this top lane carry issue. I don't know if the junglers if they do nerf some things in the top lane. Maybe it might be this jungle carry. But with this new pickup of flaw, I think Spanu can be a middle of the road team, not this maybe a fifth, sixth team, not a seventh, eighth team. If I'm correct, I'm not sure how many teams there are. Wow. Um, I can look that up, but not the point. I think they will upgrade to this middle of the road team, not this bottom tier team. So this is my complete overview of uh, Spenu and Ever. After they take the Baron, Spenu just closes out the game. They take, uh, they start taking Drakes, and they just start sieging because of they just keep trying to play this split push, and they just really snowball. Out of the, uh, they just stay out of control. Victor just keeps Victor lands a solo kill on Callista. 
and they just uh, ever doesn't really respect this uh, this victor. So thanks for watching, and have a good day. Stop.